Hello. Uh, I will be showing you how to draw a dragon from the new TV series that I am currently making. Uh, and the character that we will be drawing today is Snapdragon. Yeah, it's, uh, no, that's a very bad head shape. Just, I would just delete that. There we go. Alright, starting over. So, yeah, that's a better head. The new show that I'm making has a... Uh... Oh wait, no. I, you know, scratch that. I'm not going to say that because I am very bad at off-script stuff. So don't blame me because all of this is just being made up as I go. So, yeah, if I shut in silence for a few minutes, don't judge me. I'll, that's because I'll, I'm thinking of what to say next. Oh, here comes our first colored part. Snapdragon is a part leafling, part uh, rainwing, and uh, he is from a continent that I made up called Perviron. Uh, so, uh, Snapdragon, his tribe is the Garden Wings, and his and his ancient and their ancient ancestors was the uh, was the uh, leafwings and rainwings, and he and uh, in the same continent comes it consists of garden wings, which Snapdragon is, uh, stone wings, and storm wings. I even drew a map of the new continent that I made, which isn't official, of course. You can tell which part of him is a rain wing, but the but his leaf wing parts are more subtle except for the green stuff. So what Snapdragon can do, he can so he can regrow uh like say if his arm gets chopped off or something, he can regrow that arm. And uh and he has leaf speak which is uh, which is a leafling thing, and uh, and he can't spit venom or camouflage or any of that raining stuff, but uh, you know he's just as good. Snapdragon is a funny character. He he likes to make dad jokes about stuff, like yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, no, don't group that. Um, no, I don't want it grouped. Group it. Un no, I mean ungroup it. I, I want to ungroup it. There we go, finally. No, not that. No. This one. Just gotta... The reason this video is full screen and my other videos aren't is because uh, I animate on a website called Brush Ninja and it doesn't let me animate full screen. And apparently I found out that uh, 
that I can record at a zoomed up place. So I zoomed up on the frames that I'm working on. So hopefully my other videos will have that. You know what? This is a promise. All my other videos will have this. And let's see. Give me something to rant about. This is one of the rain wing parts right here. This is very imperfect. They should call me Mr. Imperfection because this is not on pen and paper and I've actually gotten used to the fact that I'm not holding a notebook right now and drawing this on paper. This is actually kind of easier, like, you should have seen how I used to draw dragons on this website. Uh, it's not very pretty. That's why I didn't post any videos with those on it. All right, uh, sorry, I got lost in thought there. Time to make the eye. And, you know, if if you're drawing this on paper, no, that, no, wrong color of eye. No. So if you're drawing this on paper, then uh, it you can try to follow along because drawing on here is not as, is uh, kind of different than uh, drawing it on paper. Seriously, I've watched some, I've watched some, uh, how to draw videos with, uh, with, uh, drawings on the computer, and I tried to draw on paper, but I'm like, why do the pictures keep disappearing? I can't do that. I can't do this. Luckily, I don't make Snapdragon disappear at any time, but the coloring might be a little bit weird, and I'm moving stuff around, so... So, if you're drawing this on a computer, then yay for you. If you're drawing this on paper, I try to follow along, please. Because... I can't record myself drawing on paper, because that would make the... Uh, paper all uh, blurry and stuff, and I feel like my paper art has uh, faded a little bit. <sighs> so, moving on. Uh, we're gonna do Snapdragon's mushrooms on his back, and uh, it's like we're doing the poisonous one first. Uh, no, that no, it needs to be black. Okay, so poisonous ones are the black ones, and the uh, white ones uh, are non-toxic. They have healing properties. And it's kind of like a reverse color switch kind of thing. The black one has white spots, and the white one has black spots. And they go on like a pattern on his back.
and out of all the dragons I've dis I've designed while I was young, this Snapdragon is probably the best designed one. Because uh he's got creative features and uh Yeah, I just like him. Reminds me of me. And I like me. Me is funny. Doing the white one now. I'm just gonna copy and paste the rest of the ones because I don't want to draw more mushrooms over and over, which is also probably why I'm only going to do four mushrooms on his back. Also because that's uh, only how many mushrooms the screen can fit. So, alright. And now we've got to paste the copy and paste this to make the mushrooms look like they're on his spine. And uh, so now we're gonna start to do the flower pattern on on Snapdragon's uh, along Snapdragon's body, which it which is his neck right now, of course. And, uh, this computer is really slow but really helpful when it comes to drawing because, uh, it helps uh, with copy and pasting so that I don't have to draw mul multiple of them. And, and, uh, on paper it's harder to draw the flowers because I don't want to draw the, the petals over and over and over. And I end up accidentally making the petals curved. And, uh, girl garden wings have the have curved petals, so we don't want to get his gender mixed up, right? And let's see, flip that. Uh, I forgot to do the middle one. An uh, easy mistake to make, at least. It's just... Once again, the magic of copying and pasting. It's like, if you can copy and paste things in real life, well, you technically can with a computer printer, but it doesn't work that way with 3D objects. And, uh... So, what if they? What if in the future they had this like copying and pasting ray gun? And uh, yeah, I guess that's technically cloning. But well, wait, I'm so confused here. It's just just copying and pasting in real life. I'm just going to say that and I'm not going to explain any science because I don't want to explain science because I didn't do very well in science class. So, don't listen to me. Anyways, this is Snapdragon. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.